Unless you gave away all your modern appliances and moved to a cave years ago, it's likely that you've acquired some knowledge of science that helps you navigate through life in the 21st century. These days, most of us rely on science and technology more than ever before, and careers that require scientific literacy are blossoming. Around the world, countries are investing heavily to create scientifically and technically literate workforces. If we expect to keep pace in global markets and retain our competitive edge, it follows that more of our children will need to learn more science. The good news? Yes, it is possible. Today on Classroom Close-Up, we'll focus on how students are improving their overall knowledge of math and science. How are these connected? Series or parallel? So what do you do to stay out of my So what is, what's the resistance? This is a typical physics class at Bergen County Technical High School. You might find one like it in just about any other school, except for one thing. These students are in ninth grade. That's right, every freshman in this school takes physics, a subject students at most schools don't get near until higher grades. All the students take a very solid core introducing them to physics, chemistry, and biology. And those core courses all comp are comprised of the first 40% of the AP curriculum in those subject areas. So does that mean this school is chock full of future physicists? Not necessarily. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor. I was always fascinated with cars. I intend to be um, a commercial artist. My career track right now is that I'm trying to trying to find something in the art sense, something in designing, interior designing, fashion designing. I want to be like a doctor or a dentist. I want to be a writer, but I really want to like learn how to do culinary because I'm a vegetarian, so I want to like learn how to cook foods that I can eat. So all the students in the school, regardless of their major or what their plans are in the future, are taking a very rigorous uh, course in physics, chemistry, biology that prepares them to take uh, the AP level course. This is the other side. So there's a voltage V across this resistor. What's the current through it? Someone raise your hand and tell me the relationship between current, voltage, and resistance. Uh, equals V over R. Great. Yeah. This guy's got a current equal to V over R through it, right? There's a fallacy that if a kid doesn't have such outstanding grades, they can't do the work. And I think the difference that we've made here, introducing the high-end um, science and math courses in ninth grade, just disproves that whole concept. I think that early on it's very important for them to get that math and science background because I think it's helping them in a lot of the other areas that we offer. Okay, try it over. They absolutely need that science and math background to be competitive in the economy, to be competitive to go to college, to get into a good college. Even sitting in an AP class makes them more prepared in college than if they took a regular class. The students in the United States are last in the world now in advanced mathematics and in science, but that's not true of students who take AP courses. Students who take and don't pass an AP course are comparable with students around the world, and students who take an AP course and pass it actually surpass every country in the world. Our society needs people to go into advanced levels of math and science and medicine and engineering, and so we need everyone to have this solid base of being able to think clearly and solve problems and we've, we've by widening the funnel and keeping it open longer that is having more students exposed to a higher level of math and science courses more of them are staying in that and so we've laid out a path where students in this country can be competitive with students from around the world and if that were to spread to more schools then we would see uh, uh, some sort of a pathway towards the United States becoming competitive in science technology and maintaining our edge in the world. Now there's something else about this class you may have noticed. Each student is using a wireless remote, a demonstration of technology made popular by game show studio audiences when called upon to help a contestant to choose an answer. The basic idea is the same before we had that technology. The idea is to engage student, get students engaged emotionally in the whole subject of solving problems. So they read the question, they think about it, they talk to their friends, they have a minute to put an answer in. And those were multiple choice questions, so they had A through E as choices. You put C. In fact, 17% of you, so two of you said C. No one wants to stand up for C? Uh, who else said A? Anyone else want to defend A? They don't know what the answer is yet, so they're wondering if they got it right or if they got it wrong. And 
they're listening to what the argument is from someone who voted a different way than them, which is just another way of getting them to be engaged and learn. Mr. Green's class is hard, but like it's fun, I guess, sometimes. And I don't know, I feel smarter since I've been in physics. So I feel like I challenge myself in that class. Physics has a lot to do with like electrical circuits. And nowadays, most cars are like hybrid electrical powered cars. Whatever like Mr. Gunning teaches in that class, you get like sort of like the gist of what you expect with car like electrical cars in the automotive industry. You need the logic. You do need the logic. The logic that you get from from physics, you can you can also use it in fashion because you need to be careful and precise with numbers. Mr. Goodman's class is very fun. Physics is something I understand and I will use in my future. So that's what high school is for, to prepare us for life. As Bob Goodman mentioned, he believes that by offering advanced science for a longer period of time, more students can reach higher levels of achievement that meet or exceed international standards. If you'd like to know more about Bergen Tech's approach to teaching science, visit our website.